Servicing brakes is easy, right? Change brake pads, lubricate guide pins, maybe top off some fluid. The A5 should be a piece of cake then. Well, after studying for the A5, I discovered three brake related topics that seemed difficult at first. Number one is servicing drum brakes. Not these. Imagine having somebody with zero automotive experience try and change these brake shoes. <laughs> yeah, they'd be here all day. But why is that? Are drum brakes really that complicated? At first they are. There's so many small pieces involved. Sometimes the springs don't want to cooperate with you. And if you forgot to take a picture, then you might have trouble reassembling the self-adjusting mechanism. And tools. You get introduced to so many new tools that are only used during drum brake service. Overall, drum brake service is complicated at first, but once you service a few, it'll be easy. You'll be comfortable. One day, you'll actually look forward to drum brake service. How about that? So, are these brake shoes leading trailing or dual servo? What's this piece called? This springy piece. Which areas need lubrication? For the test, know how to inspect the wheel cylinder for leaks and know the general procedure to adjusting the brake shoes. Number two is fabricating brake lines. There will come a point where you have to make one. There's no way around it. At first, the process looked complicated. I wasn't familiar with the tools, flaring bar, flaring clamp. I also thought these tools would be expensive, but that's not the reality. Once you make a few test lines, you'll see that it's not that hard. You'll be fine. You'll become a master at identifying the types of flares. So is this a double flare or an ISO bubble flare? What's the most common brake tubing size? Number three is adjusting the parking brake. I know a lot of you that don't set your parking brake because you live on level ground. But in some areas, this adjustment is critical. You need to learn it. If you've never adjusted the parking brake, the mechanism might look difficult at first, but I assure you it's not. It's easy once you understand how it works. If you have rear drum brakes, you have to adjust the rear brake shoes before adjusting the parking brake. And servicing drum brakes was number one on this list. So you see, this one's a double whammy. Too much information to know for the beginner. And don't let terms like screw and nut adjusting caliper or ball and ramp style caliper throw you off. These are easy mechanisms. For the test, know the general procedure for adjusting the brake. Oh, and eventually you'll run into this design. This is a drum and hat rotor. This design blows my mind because you have a brake drum design inside of a disc brake design. Whoa. And that's it. I'll be taking the A5 test soon. Out of these AAC tests, more people have passed the brake test than any other test. Does this mean that the A5 is the easiest test of them all? Not exactly. You still have to put in the work. If you don't have any AC certifications, then the A5 brakes test is a good place to start. It's a good first certification. So good luck to me and good luck to you. Leave a comment on anything brakes related that you had difficulty with. Have a good day.